Ayelle Zorin, how are you? Good, thank you. Hebrew, English, what is it? Uh, sorry? What language are you speaking? Right now? Yeah. English. Okay, no, I, you said my name so precisely. I'm oh, yes, it's, it's my Israeli uh, background, background nice. uh, kicking in. Yeah. Tell us about coming out here. This is your film. How, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. I love the movie. It was a great experience. I loved working with these actors and Larry Kazan was a great, great director to work with. Amazing. And I love the screenplay and so to just celebrate something you've done with so much love, it's great. Speaking of working with amazing directors, Spielberg, Munich, I mean, that's Definitely. actually, that's one of my favorite. How's working with Spielberg? Oh my gosh. He's, he's a, one of my favorite people. Um, he's smart. He's compassionate, he's righteous in, some, in a good way, you know. He's just someone you want to start your life in right. Hollywood <laughs> with. You want to start with him, and I was lucky enough to be chosen to work with him, and I when really you, owe him everything. When you had to audition, did you end up auditioning with Spielberg in the room uh, at the end? Oh no, uh, I just got a call one day that I need to read for someone on tape the next day and uh, I didn't know who that was and I read and they called me in and it was it wasn't, wasn't a lot of auditioning going on I apparently they saw movies of mine before and they called me in amazing amazing and tell us about uh, um, your role what do you play in this uh, darling companion I am playing Carmen who's a mysterious housekeeper or a caretaker that um, has a se other sense in life. She has this, she can read energies and stuff like that, so she moves the story around. Okay. Are you spiritual yourself? Uh, it's a good question. I think I am. I think I am. I would consider myself that. I, I, f I feel like, you know, we use maybe 3% of our brain, yeah, like, like scientifically, right. so there must be something going on with a 97 left. So I'm thinking. She, she's using 10%. <laughs> I hope so. No, I don't think I'd... I think, I think some, I read some, somewhere that uh, Einstein uh, used maybe four, so 10 would be really high up there. I love how you say Einstein. It's... Einstein. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, you're super busy. Man of Steel. Let's talk about that. Let's plug that in a little bit. Oh, plug that in. Um, yeah. First of all, congratulations. Mazal uh, tov. What? Should I pull up? Uh, just One more. Okay. Ma Ma Man of Steel, let's talk about that. Well, I can't say much, but I think uh, what people may expect is something very edgy and very uh, different maybe from the old movies that we've seen as kids. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're going to change it up? I don't know if change the story much up, but they, they will... It yeah, it's definitely edgy. I mean, if you've seen Zack's movies, it's very edgy, I think. And, and to, to add to that... Um, uh, do some other uh, executive, executive producers that done some things like The Dark Knight, you know. It has to be a, different, you know.